I seriously promise I'll be there in 10 minutes. Don't worry, I won't be late, I swear. Okay, bye. I need to clean my room before I go, or my mom is gonna kill me. But I only have 10 minutes. No, you know what? I can do this. I can do this in 10 minutes easily. Let's go. and welcome to my first video of 2017. That's crazy to say. I can't believe it. 2016 literally flew by so fast. In today's video, I thought I would do kind of a helpful video. And since it's the new year, I thought this would kind of help some of your New Year's resolutions because I know mine is to keep my room a lot cleaner this year because in the past, it's been very messy. Like, do you ever wish you could just snap your fingers and your room would be clean automatically without you having to do anything? Unfortunately, that is not how it works, but I thought this video would be helpful for any of you who want to clean your room super fast if you're in a rush or if you just want it finished so you can enjoy the rest of your day. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to clean your room in 10 minutes, guaranteed. This will actually work. I've done this so many times and it really does get your room clean in literally 10 minutes or less. Also, if you're wondering why there's still Christmas decorations everywhere in this video, it's because I haven't had a chance to take them down yet. I am pre-filming this video and I'm actually in Arkansas as you guys are watching this, so just ignore all the Christmas decorations and I mean it still makes me happy to have them up so hopefully it'll make you happy too. But anyway I really hope you guys enjoy this room video and hopefully it'll help you and give you a lot of good tips and let's go ahead and get started. One of the first steps to cleaning your room is to put on some music and this not only helps you work faster but it keeps you motivated so what I like to do to make sure that I'll be finished in 10 minutes is to search up on YouTube 10 minute playlist. You could also go to Spotify or make your own playlist but basically this makes you want to dance like in this clip later you'll see me dancing like a complete weirdo and I'm probably gonna regret putting this on the internet but by the time the playlist is up you should be finished cleaning your room so this really keeps you motivated and it really works so definitely try it out. Step number two into cleaning your room fast is to make your bed because trust me, I cannot even explain enough how much this makes your room automatically look cleaner. And once your bed is made, you're gonna have a lot more motivation to clean the rest of your room because I don't know what it is about the bed, but like I think it's the best way to like start out cleaning your room. I don't know. It just makes everything look so much cleaner and you get a bunch of chunky like taking up space, I don't know if that makes any sense, pillows all over your floor and it just gets things out of the way and makes your room automatically look 100 times cleaner. So definitely start out with this and then you can work through the rest of your room. Number three into cleaning your room is to clear out all of your old dishes and I am one of the guiltiest people when it comes to dishes in your room. I have a bunch of glasses, that's a vegetable smoothie, it, it tastes really good, don't think it's gross. And then I just always have something in my room so this is the perfect opportunity to get all that out of the way and don't be lazy and just take it downstairs because I always just keep it up there way too long. And this just clears out a bunch of space in your room and it gets all of the dirty stuff out of the way so that you can clean the rest later and this only takes about two minutes so just go ahead and do it as fast as you can. Raise your hand if you have so many clothes and blankets sprawled out all across your floor, hang out of your dressers and your hamper because if your hand is up, that is definitely me. I am so guilty of having clothes all over the place. Even if they're clean, I'm just a lazy person and I'm going to work on that in the new year. But anyway, I just gathered up all of my clothes and now is the time to sort them out between dirty and clean. Obviously, you're going to want to put your dirty clothes in the hamper so they can be washed. And with your clean clothes, you're just going to want to either fold them up and put them in your dresser or hang them up in your closet and putting clothes away is one of the easiest ways to really clear up space in your room it only takes about three minutes it takes no time at all and your room looks amazing just like making your bed like just two simple things really can make your room look cleaner and it doesn't take long at all so definitely do this One 
one thing about a messy room is a lot of random knickknacks and stuff like that is usually all over the place so cleaning your room involves putting all that stuff away obviously i'm sure you guys knew that but you're just going to want to go ahead and take all of your random things hanging all over the place and put them away try to keep everything organized and there is usually a bunch of stuff all over my dresser and nightstand and things like that and i also had some studio lights all over the place so just putting these things away is one of the final steps after you've cleared out dishes and clothes and everything like that now is the time to put away miscellaneous stuff and this also really clears up space i mean it's pretty self-explanatory just make sure not to forget this step and it only takes two minutes so it's pretty great and you're almost finished with your room The final step into cleaning your room is actually to dust and clean every single surface because I don't know about you guys but whenever I have glasses and dishes I get these gross marks all over my surfaces in my room and I actually have a really cool life pack for you guys to do this super fast. You're going to want to take a pair of socks and I know these look dirty and stained but I promise you they're clean and you're going to put them on your hands kind of like little mittens and with one of the socks you're going to want to wet it and put some cleaner on it and you're just going to scrub off all of the stains and marks that are on your surfaces and you're going to want to scrub pretty hard it's actually kind of fun doing this not going to lie and then with the other hand you're going to make sure that one is dry and just use that one to dry everything off so it's kind of like one hand cleans and the other one dries if you're in a hurry this is pretty great because i find it works a lot faster than using a dust drag and spraying it this just works really well and you guys should definitely try it out and now your room is super clean. I love when I have a clean room. Yes, my room gets messy all the time, but I have to say I love when it is clean. It's like the best feeling in the world and you can enjoy the rest of your day. Trust me, all these tips work so well and your room is going to be really clean in no time. Honestly, it takes like 10 minutes or less, maybe a little over if you have a bigger room. But you guys should definitely try out all these tips and let me know which one works the best for you. Love should be a joy. So that was it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below because I have some very exciting New Year videos coming up and I can't wait to show you. Also, if you remember, I designed my own skirt with mode and I love it so much. It's only going to be out for a few more weeks, three more weeks actually. So if you want to get it, be sure to get it now so it doesn't run out. It's only $10 with free shipping everywhere and some of the proceeds go to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. So when you buy it, you're going to a great cause and you're also getting a super cute skirt. So I'm gonna have all the links down below and make sure to go buy one and check it out Also, let me know in the comments down below if you usually keep your messy or clean or if you're a neat freak I don't know I say I'm a neat freak, but then my room is really messy all the time But I still love it being clean so I feel like I'm kind of half and half But I really hope this video is helpful to you and I hope you enjoyed it Thank you guys so much again for watching. I love you so much and I'll talk to you in next week's video